You can also validate the XML data you get from the download from the server if you like, and I'm going to take a look at that now. If you don't know about XML validation, then you don't, certainly don't have to worry about it. It's not an integral part of AJAX. However, if you do know about validation in XML, it's worth knowing that you can validate XML data inside a browser. I'm going to take a look at an example here. This is a document type declaration. It specifies the syntax, the correct syntax for the guests xml document and this is a dtd document type declaration so this is guests dtd.xml version of the guests.xml document that contains a dtd for the document and for example it says that the events element can contain zero or any number actually any positive number of event elements each event element must contain in sequence an event title an event number a subject a date and any number of people elements so this specifies this dtd specifies the actual syntax you can use in the xml document and xml data again if you don't know about xml validation you don't have to worry about it but if you do it's, worth, it's a skill worth knowing about how to validate inside a modern browser. And so let's take a look. So this is guestsdtd.xml, and it contains a DTD for the guests.xml document. We're going to check about validating this document. And might as well say that there is an error intentionally introduced into this document. Here is the events document element. The event element contained inside it. Event title is fine. Event number is fine. Subject is fine. But then instead of a date element, we've placed a date one element in. And so we're going to see whether or not the browser catches the fact that this is a date one element and not a date element. You see the event element is supposed to contain event title, event number, subject, and then date, not date one. So we're going to see whether or not the validator built into the browser catches that problem that this is a date one element and not a date element. So here's the way to validate the data. We're going to use an XML HTTP request object to download the guests dtd.xml file from the server as you see here and we're going to use Ajax to do that. And once you have downloaded the data, you can load it into a document, into an object called XML document from the response XML property as you already know. And then we're going to check out, check the validity of the document by parsing it using a new ActiveX object. This is for the Internet Explorer only. Using a new ActiveX object called it's msxml2. This is the msxml library of objects dot dom document. So you create a new ActiveX object. It is an msxml2 dot dom document object, and that is that gives you a parser object with which to read the XML that you've downloaded and to check it for validity. You set the parser object's validate on parse property to true. That means that the parser will validate the document and check its validity using the DTD or XML schema that you've supplied for it. The XML schema is another way to check a, a, an XML document's validity. And so you say in order to parse the document, you say parser.load, use a load method to read in the the XML you want to work with. In this case, we're just going to read in the XML HTTP request objects response.xml property, as you see there. So we're going to directly load into the parser the XML you've downloaded from the server. OK, and then the parser parses that XML. And if there is an error of any kind, you can get that by looking at the parse error properties error code property. OK, so parser.parseerror.errorcode. If that is not equal to 0, then you have an error, a validity error. And so what you're going to do is display that with the various properties of the parse error property and the URL to will locate the file that was being parsed. The line property tells you the line at which the error occurred. Line pause tells you the position in the line at which the error occurred. Source text gives you the source of the error. Reason gives you the reason for the error. And the error code gives you the internal error code for the error. So this is going to display all this information if there was a parse error. And as you know, there already is a parse error involved in the, the sample document guests dtd.xml. And on the other hand, if there is no parse error, then you go to the display guest function, which displays, as you know already, extracts the display guest function, extracts the third guest from the guest dtd.xml 
file. So if there's no problem, if there's no validity error, then it will just see that the third guest is Cary Grant, the celebrity guest is Cary Grant. However, as you know, there is a parser error, and so we're going to see all this information displayed. Let's take a look at how that looks. So get the celebrity guest, who is the celebrity guest, and this time we're going to see a the parse error occur and the validity errors information will be displayed. I click the button. There you are. So there's an error in line 23, position 10, and the error source it was accurately identified as this date one element and element content is invalid according to the DTD slash schema and expecting date. So as you see, there's quite a lot of good information there and this is just to indicate that you can use the browsers, browsers internal support to validate the XML you download using Ajax techniques and all you have to do is create an appropriate parser object, load the XML into the parser object and configure the parser object so that it will validate and then you can get from, from all that the actual errors that occurred in case your document is invalid. Well, this appropriately found out that the date one element is invalid and it was expecting a date element instead so that's that worked very well. If you look at this example it is validator.html in the course for the for the course and as you see it's a very handy technique again if you don't know anything about validation please don't worry about it but if you're interested in XML validation it's good to know that that browsers can validate very well